Okay, yeah, this is my uh, new engine I just uh, received, just arrived yesterday actually, um, all the way from China, dispatched on the 28th of July, so it didn't take that long to get here. Uh, it's the model B01 um, from Okmo and Retro, uh, designed by Jin in China. Um, it's based on the Baker Monitor 7 horsepower ball hopper engine uh, from around 1919-1920. Um, you can tell it's the 7 horsepower uh, version as it's got the two flywheels. Um, the 4 horsepower versions only have the uh, flywheel on this side. Uh, she's an absolute stunning little beautiful engine. The attention to detail is just phenomenal. Uh, if we have a look at the, uh, this beautiful uh, muffler here, it's just, uh, just absolutely so scale. It's, everything is very, very, very um, scaled to the original. Um, the oiler here on the, on the side here, it's, um, it's a total loss oil system, uh, so there's no actual oil in the sump. Uh, it just runs down through channels into the um, uh, crankshaft. Uh, seems to work very well um, and she just runs absolutely beautifully. Uh, I had a wee bit of trouble earlier on, um, the humidity here was incredibly high, up about 97% relative humidity and it just did not like that. I couldn't get her to run, um, uh, she would just retch out all the time if I got it um, just lean enough then there was just not enough fuel getting through so uh, I suspect it was down to the, to the humidity. Um, Yesterday I gave her a run, she uh, ran through a full tank of fuel um, without any hiccups. Um, as I say last night with the high humidity and again earlier on today with the high humidity had a few problems but um, hopefully she'll be running nice and sweet now. Uh, I've just put a couple of bits of wood on here that basically uh, screws down just to stop her bouncing around. Um, as she starts really nicely so there she goes straight away like that. And I think I've got the needle tuned in, hopefully have. Um, that's, uh, I've not made any modifications to her or anything like that, that's her running uh, basically straight out the box. Um, running really sweet, um, she might rich up a little bit because the humidity is still quite high but um, she seems to be running better than she was this morning, that's for sure. Uh, yeah, absolutely beautiful engine, I'm just so impressed with her. Uh, as I say, the attention to detail is, is amazing. And you look here, you can see uh, the lovely detail of the, uh, the monitor on the, uh, written on the fuel tank there. Uh, this was supposed to be just for the first 100 engines, and um, I actually got engine uh, 105. Um, Jin signed it there. Uh, absolutely stunning. Uh, she's got a mechanical ignition. Um, i come around the other side here. Uh, you can see the mechanical ignition in there, um, which uh, seems to work incredibly well. Uh, it runs off one AA battery, and then in there you can see the, uh, the hit, and mi hit and miss mechanism, the latch that holds the exhaust valve open. Um, and again, look at the detail on the, uh, on the crankcase cover there, it's just absolutely uh, amazing. Uh, I took advice from uh, Thomas, the Thomas PC Guru. Uh, he's um, mad about these engines uh, over in Christchurch in New Zealand and we're up in Shetland so we couldn't get much further away and uh, he recommended putting a little bit of grease uh, inside the crankcases onto the, um, the big end there so I, did, I put some uh, spray grease on that and I also put some grease on the, uh, on the latch mechanism there um, just to keep it sweet and she's um, water cooled uh, water goes in the hopper there. We've got lovely water up here in uh, Shetland, so I don't really need to use distilled water. That's just, just straight out the tap. And you can see how she's um, just slightly warming up, but um, not, not that warm at all. So, uh, and to give you an idea of scale, in the uh, background there, there's my little, uh, that's my N17. Uh, uh, sorry, M17. <laughs> I'm thinking of the song. The M17 again from Jin, that's um, another uh, model, and then behind that 
Uh, we've got my uh, the, the engine that basically got me into all this is the um, Retro Muso HM01 hit and miss engine. It's a 7cc, it's an absolute beauty. Uh, this is just 1.5cc, uh, and I think this is about 3cc, something like that. But it's a stunning little engine. Okay, she's been running uh, for about uh, another 15 minutes. Um, now she's uh, running really sweetly. I think I've got the mixture dial in uh, just about right. Uh, she's um, just warm to the touch, not hot at all. Uh, so there's no, no worries there. Uh, she's needing probably a little bit more oil put in there. I'll just slow that down a little bit. Um, this is her uh, basically running straight out of the box. I haven't made any modifications or anything like that to her. Uh, it is very, very easy to adjust the mechanical ignition uh, timing here. Um, to uh, recommend that you can adjust them to top dead centre or just after top dead centre, in fact, to get more power in the hit, uh, which is obviously spin it and keep the governor, uh, keep the latch on the, uh, on the exhaust uh, closed for longer, uh, sorry, open for longer. And uh, the other easy modification on this one, uh, with some of the other engines, you can change out the spring or put a lighter spring on it. Uh, oh, so um, maybe getting a little bit rich there. Um, but uh, on this one, it's, it's actually a little nut that you can adjust uh, to um, uh, to bring the um, uh, slacken off the spring a little bit. But as I say, the speed she's running at this now is probably uh, damn near perfect. So uh, I'm really actually quite happy um, with the way she's running. I certainly give her two or three tankfuls of fuel at this speed and then before I start playing around with her. And uh, I really would like to get that mixture dialed in just perfectly right because she does rich up after a wee while and it's very, again, the humidity is still quite high. So I think it's probably causing it just to be a little bit rich. Um, just very, very slight adjustments on the... Uh, let's see how that goes. Anyway, I'll just let her run away till this tank of fuel runs out, and uh, thanks for watching. Uh, I'll be back probably a couple of days' time, and I'll maybe do some uh, adjustments to the timing and to the uh, to the uh, governor spring. So, thanks again, and see you soon.